Good afternoon, folks. Today's my Wednesday. It's your Thursday. Oh, boy. I got a lot done so far today, and I got more to do. But that's not what this video is about. Today, I want to talk about something I'm going to name overthinking. Let's go ahead and run that intro, which I didn't run it on the last video. So I run it on this one. And I explain what I mean by overthinking when I get back. Okay, I'm going to walk and talk because that's what I do best. Personally, myself, I overthink every scenario, every situation I get into. And by me overthinking it is not exactly a good thing. Believe me, it's not. Let me tell you some examples from not so bad to the extreme. Well, let's say I'm going to the store and I'll give you a good example, okay? Right now, I need things bought, okay? I need uh, stuff from my bald head, so I got this stuff. It's called uh, shaving balm, if I said it right. It's so whenever I get done shaving, my head don't get the little red dots all over it. So I'm pretty much out of that stuff now. I also need beard oil, which I've been out of for over a month now. Uh, I need a few other things. Now, what I what I do is, this is what happened last week, okay? I had, I had a little bit of extra money after I got paid. I went to the store and I picked up the beard oil. I was like, hmm, oh, well, shoot, I've been this long. Got some of my beard right now. Oh, leaves. But anyway, I was like, I've been this long without the beard oil. Well, I, I don't really need it because I could really use this money for, you know, for food and stuff, you know, to provide food for my family. Do I really need to waste this uh, on beard oil? So I overthink the situation. Next thing you know, I don't buy the beard oil. That goes the same for the uh, for the um, shave after shave bomb. Same thing. I talk myself out of it. That's one scenario. Let me give you another scenario. You see this thing on my wrist, okay? Which is kind of upside down, turned around backwards. I have to wear this every day because if I've ever get in an accident, this tells whoever I I have stents and where my stents are. It's a medical bracelet, right? Well, as you see how it's hanging on my arm right now, right? Well, when I got this thing back some months ago, it never drooped like it is today. So, I got to looking at this the other day. I was like, why is this thing drooping all of a sudden now? It's not, it's not stretchable. It's not meant to ever stretch. What's going on? Oh, my God. What? And literally, by me overthinking this, it freaked me out. The only conclusion I come up with is, shit, I've lost so much weight, I lost it in my wrist too. Now my wrists are too skinny. And I overthink the situation, oh my God, what if this thing ever gets to the point it falls off my hand? Because I can't ever resize it, because it was specially made. So I overthink the situation. Here's a good one. This is where my over overthinking is bad. Yesterday, I come out here to the backyard. I mowed in the fence line, which is my hill. I didn't mow the rest of it. Let me tell you why. It was very cloudy yesterday, and I don't know what my head was thinking, but I mowed the backyard, the fence line, and I was getting ready to do the other part of the yard. I was like, well, shoot. It was a little slippery out there because of all that rain we had the last couple of days. Oh, man, what if I run into some serious mud, itch mud issues back there, and I mess up the lawnmower completely? Or better yet, what if I get back there and... I have troubles and I overthink the situation and before you know it, within five minutes of overthinking that, I taught myself how to do the rest of the backyard. Now guess what? I got to do the backyard today, regardless. I overthink the situation and I threw myself in panic mode. Alright, here's a really good one. This recently happened the other day and it happens a lot. Now, this can happen with a friend, it can happen with one of my kids, and it can happen with my wife because it's happened all three times. The other day, I had a discussion with my wife, okay? We found an article on Facebook that we both read, and she agreed with it. I disagreed, okay? We never argued about it, but we went back and forth in a discussion. It never got heated, no. It never does get heated, but I tried to get her to see my point of view. She tried to get me to see her point of views. We had to end the discussion, and we had to, we had to end it in saying, you know, we... uh. We agree to disagree on this particular subject. Now, that's all fine and good and all, right? 
most people do this am I correct not me after after about two hours went by my wife's at work I'm home and I started thinking oh man was I rude to my wife maybe I should have seen it her way man maybe by me not seeing it her way and she ain't telling me maybe I upset her god I, did I hurt her feelings I mean, maybe it was wrong with me to not see it her way. Maybe I should try it harder. I overthink the situation. Next thing you know, I convinced myself that I was very mean and I hurt my wife's feelings. Only to find out when I pick her up from work, I was like, are you sure you, you mad at me, hon? No! Why? Because of the discussion we had earlier. She's like, what was the discussion? I forgot about it. And I told her, she's like, are you out of your freaking mind? Really, Michael? I got a darn mosquito dancing around me or some kind of bug. I do this with my friends too. I get in, I, I get into a discussion with them and <laughs> I'm, I'm always worried that I'm going to upset somebody. And after the discussion, I rethink it. I rethink it or, or get this. Here's a good one. And this is basically that happened about maybe an hour ago. I was talking to some friends about an hour ago, some good friends of mine. And I'm half asleep right now. And I'm just half asleep, okay? I'm tired. My man, my brain's going 100 miles an hour. And sometimes when my brain goes 100 miles an hour, I talk a lot. I'm like, no, 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 no. I never shut up. So I say for about maybe a half an hour, 45 minutes while I was busy and talking to some good friends of mine, I basically was da 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 then after I left and I was basically um, doing, you know, kind of coming back, I got to thinking, oh God, I didn't let them get a word in edgewise. Was I rude by never shutting up? Are they going to think I'm, I'm on some kind of drugs because I was talking so much? Well, they know me. And I started overthinking the situation and I convinced myself that next time I talked to them, I would be more listening instead of speaking because I should have done that and I didn't do that and I'm overthinking it even right now as I'm speaking to you. This is how my brain operates. I overthink every darn thing I do. Everything. Down to what I had for lunch even. I had a granola bar for lunch. Second I got done eating a granola bar and drink my water, I was like, is that enough? I'm getting ready to mow the backyard soon. Is that enough? calories to give me energy to do what I got to do maybe that isn't enough because it wasn't really a proper lunch it was just a granola bar maybe I should have ate something else why well, didn't I eat something else because I'm lazy I didn't feel like going to get something else so I ate a granola bar uh, maybe you know I hope I don't hit the I hope I don't crash halfway through because I didn't have enough calories I didn't get enough energy see I overthink it you guys do this stuff or am I the only person I know that's insane that does this it doesn't matter what the situation is, I overthink everything. Remember the time my dog got loose? Seconds! My dog got out that gate and I was chasing her. The first thought come to my mind is, oh my God, she's going to either bite somebody or cause an accident or get herself killed. I overthink that whole... I done basically had my dog already dead. Way before I even went out that gate and got her or tried to chase after her. Do you guys do this? Way back when I got the driveway in, I'm just coming up with scenarios, okay? We could be here all day because I could come up with thousands of scenarios. But back when I got the driveway put in, they came out and they started digging the driveway, okay? And the first shovel full of dirt they got out of the driveway, I had to rethink the situation. I was like, oh my God, am I sure that the people uh, did their job and marked where all the wires are? Oh God, is, am I sure there's nothing underneath the ground that can basically harm the people working here? Oh crap, what if by them digging, what if I, uh, something happens? I overthink the situation. I was almost getting ready to go out there and tell them to stop. Let's double check and make sure everything's okay. Mm -hmm. I overthink it. And even after the driveway was poured, even after we started parking on the driveway, I had to sit there and think, was this the right move to make? I did spend an awful lot of money on that driveway. Oh my God, was that stupid? I mean, seriously, I could have parked on dirt for the next, what, 10 years? Was that a stupid move to make? Maybe I spent way too much money on my driveway and I shouldn't have. That money should have went somewhere else. I overthink it. I could do everything. Everything. Basically, this video is about me overthinking. And I want to know from you guys, and I haven't answered too many comments lately. I don't know if I'm seeing all the comments come up. 
I tell you about that at the end of the video about the comments. But I want to ask you guys: Do you ever think situations? And if you do ever think it, what's your what things do you ever think? And if you actually stopped yourself from ever thinking, tell me how to do it. Because every second of every day, I overthink everything. And I usually throw myself into an anxiety attack or a panic attack. Or I make myself worry. Now, let's talk a little bit about the comments, guys. Usually when I get a comment, the second I turn my computer on, the comments I get from YouTube automatically come up. And I was like, I see them all pop up in a little, uh, a little window. And I click on each one and I answer them. I haven't seen none in the last couple days. So either my computer's not doing what it did before, or I just ain't been getting them. Well, I, I, I think I've been getting comments. I may have to go check manually. So if I haven't commented on any of your, commented back on you guys, give me a little bit. Let me, uh, let me reschedule that and go check it manually because I want to start commenting back every chance I get. See, I overthink that too. <laughs> You guys don't want no secret. I'm gonna tell you. Let me tell you a secret. Back about a month ago, I was uh, sitting there thinking to myself. I was like, "Shoot, you never really answer comments. You read all the comments, but you don't want to really answer none of them." And I got to thinking how rude that was. And I said to myself, "Well, you want to, You still want to do YouTube videos. You want people to watch your videos, but nobody's going to watch. Want to watch your videos if you don't comment back on what they say." So I convinced myself I probably would eventually lose all my subscribers unless I start commenting back. Mm -hmm. So I start commenting back. The thing with comments is I stink at them. <laughs> Sometimes I don't know what to say back, guys. I don't. Sometimes I, well, Angie tells me you don't really have to say much back. <clears throat> Just let them know you read the comment. If you got to put on there to thank you for the comment. At least it tells them you read their comment. So I've been doing it for this past month until just the other day. But anyway, guys, I'm going to go inside, get myself motivated. I don't know what I'm going to do. I may wait till 5 o'clock and mow grass. I don't know. I don't know what I want to do. See, I'm overthinking. It needs done now, but right now, there's other things that could take my attention indoors. I figure it out. Until next time, guys, come on. Let's get out of here. Leave me comments. Do you ever think the situation? And if you do, give me scenarios. Please. And by the way, once again, if you're in line for this Hurricane Florence, my prayers are with you guys, okay? This thing is shaping up to be a monster. Oh, God, is it ever. All right, we'll see you guys tomorrow.